Yo, what's up guys? I'm Jonathan Bame. It's freezing cold here in Cincinnati, Ohio, outside the United States Playing Card Factory. And you're watching Expose. Look how adorable my tiny little baby Christmas tree is. It might not look like it's a tiny baby Christmas tree, but it's really like, it's like three and a half feet tall. It is adorable. All right, news time. We begin with first congratulating Michael Carbonaro. His show, The Carbonaro Effect, has been renewed by True TV for another season. Woo! That's weird. If you've ever seen uh, How I Met Your Mother, Woo Girls, no? I don't want to, I don't want to be one of those. We'll keep you posted on the details about the Carbonaro Effect's new season in the weeks ahead. The Mirror has the latest details on Darcy Oak's upcoming special. The special entitled Darcy Oak Edge of Reality, awesome title by the way, is set to air on ITV on December 27th, so check your local listings for times. So make sure you get the right time, because you don't want to miss it. It's the Edge of Reality, guys. It just sounds exciting. Then head over to DarcyOak.com for locations and dates of his upcoming September-October 2015 tour. Sci-Fi is airing a Wizard Wars marathon of the first six episodes on December 23rd. Check your local listings for airtimes on that. Then Sci-Fi has also released airtimes for the new six episodes starting January 29th. Super exciting! I'm on that show. I think I am at least. I was on set. I don't know. Anything other than that. That's all for me this week, guys. I'm gonna pet my hat a little bit. That's super awkward. All right, I'll see you next week. I think an ugly sweater might be in order. Can't really see my sweater, but I'll, I'll do my best. It's Christmas time. Ugly sweaters? Okay, bye guys. Hey, what's up guys? Andre here. Welcome back to this week's expose. Jonathan Bain just got back from Ohio, Cincinnati, where he was having a bunch of meetings with the bicycle team regarding the projects that we're going to release before the end of the year. So stay tuned next week. We're gonna be releasing a bunch of details and teasers and photos regarding those projects. And again, we're all very excited, so stay tuned. So the results for the MC Squared annual competition are in. The MC Squared annual competition is for magic and cardistry and for our members to showcase their skill in 60 seconds or less. To show off your cardistry, your magic, your video production skills, your storytelling, and more. And with that said, we've got so many great and phenomenal submissions, so thank you guys so much for doing that, and uh, all of them we wish could be winners, but alas, there's only three that we could pick, so let's get to the winners. All right, so that said, in third place we have Asian94, who had a phenomenal submission. He had amazing advanced cuts and moves, and it all flowed really, really well with a combination of great video production skill. So we award you third place. Congratulations, you did a great job. In second place, we have Yang D4, who did a phenomenal job combining uncut cardistry in one take, which is extremely difficult, and I would know. Uh, I love doing that stuff, and he masterfully combined dancing and cardistry all in one, and it was both entertaining and super fun to watch, so congratulations, Young D4. And last but not least, Paul the Illusionist had the winning submission. Now, the moves inside of that video were not the most advanced or crazy complicated, but he did something different than everyone else. He had a voice in his video that told a story about his life, his passion, and ultimately that reminded us of why we do what it is we do, and we love what we do. And this was a masterful combination of his artistry and his storytelling and his voice, and it was very, very creative. So I'm gonna show that to you guys right now because I can't do it justice. When I was younger, I used to be anxious and shy. For I was diagnosed with panic disorder, it was hard to slip by. Acquiring, however, a passion for card flourishing created a niche of its own, as it helped me make friends, join a community, become liked and known. I flourished to challenge myself, explore creative thinking, and embrace failure. Failure sparks determination. Failure promotes success later. I practice to improve, but I do not practice to be the best. My desire is to have fun, not to shun the rest. The pieces of pasteboard may appear to be weak, unable to last through the progression of time. As Ricky J demonstrated though, one has the uncanny ability to penetrate the outside of a watermelon, despite being thinner than a dime. A symbiotic relationship is present between myself and a deck of playing cards. As a performer, I am strong. 
the effect guard. My cards too are strong. Cards in hand, the place where they belong. All right, so now we get to the comment contest. Last week, your job was to tell me how many ornaments and things are behind me on that tree. And uh, we have a, well, honorable mention that I'd like to get to first by Will Tupper, who says 99 things, but a trick ain't one. Except you're wrong, because the tricks are part of that tree. In fact, there's a bunch of tricks and playing cards hanging on that tree you can't see, and all my friends come by and pluck it off that tree. That actually happens. Anyway, that said, the real winners and the real number is 147. So please congratulate Dominic Thibodeau Deville. I butchered that insanely badly, but congrats. You said 147, of course, without the blue mat. And uh, the other one we have from the media section is Justin R for accurately guessing it is a seven foot tree. Seven and a half, close. Anyway, congratulations you guys. Please contact customer support and claim your prizes, which are the awesome rare bit cards. And speaking of rare bits, if we're not sold out of them by the time you're watching this, we literally have a few of them in stock. So if you wanna get one, get one now. And for this week's comment contest, I hope you guys have been using the grand prize wheel and getting your free spin every single day. So if you haven't, go to theory11.com forward slash holiday forward slash contest and get your free spin for a chance to win those rare decks, the camera, and of course, all of those amazing trips. Uh, that said, so far we've had 25,000 spins on that wheel. And uh, your job is to tell me how many spins we'll be at in one week from now when you're watching the next episode of Expose. Anyway, guess between 25,000 and up and you'll win something special. With that said, stay tuned for next week for all the awesome releases and details, and we'll see you guys next time.